So guys, first of all, congratulations all of you who went long, who weren't bearish and now we have such a beautiful rally. We basically touched $7,500 and we can say that we basically made it from almost $3,400 without significant corrections. And if you remember, I did post this tweet which I made like in the beginning of April where I was saying that based on Fibonacci retracements from the lows in 2013-15 and previous cycle as well, you can build an analogy that we'll have something like this after the breakout of the triangle around $4,000. So I expected the price will go to $7,550 and then again basing on this analogy the correction will be back to $4,300. Looking at what is happening in the market right now, I'm really not sure that this correction will ever happen, but we saw this growth at least. Also, if you remember again, there was one more expectation based on the textbooks example, which is called bump and run reversal bottom. And now we are somewhere around this stage so this was actually one of the best performing TA which we had so far during this whole period within like almost six months. Saying all, all that, I already see a lot of the comments on YouTube, on Twitter that guys we are going to like new all time high, the next target is like 100k in the end of 2019 or even higher and I perfectly can understand that. But really this is like how FOMO works, we shall be more sober in my opinion, we shall not let our emotions to drive our trades and what I was going to show you is the Bollinger Bands distribution for daily, weekly and monthly time frame. Now you see we are well above the upper band of Bollinger Bands and if you will find the situation in the previous history of Bitcoin when it happened before, every time we either went massively down or we went at least sideways for a while something like here for example and the same situation is on the weekly time frame so on the weekly time frame we're again very far from the upper band and looking through the history again every time we are doing that we're having a massive correction downwards so can you imagine that we actually will go against the overall market statistics and have something like few weeks or maybe even like 10-20 weeks being above the Bollinger Bands without significant corrections? I don't really think so. I think at some point we need to have this and it, it may happen like within a week or two from now on. Of course, this is the part of the bull market, the exuberance phase when we were above Bollinger Bands. But guys, now we're just left the accumulation phase after the massive bear market. What I think is more possible and more likely to happen that we actually will have one of those. It's just the question of how far it will go and when it will happen. And more importantly, I would look at the monthly time frame. At the monthly time frame, we have a baseline of Bollinger Bands. You see the prices above this and it's really really good considering the fact that let's say previous time in 2015 when the market went above this baseline we actually have a starting point of the bull market and the price when never went below that baseline anymore until bear market in 2018. So the question for me is whether we will stay above this baseline which is at the moment something like seven thousand dollars and again this is a nice round level so we may expect it to be a nice support together with a whole huge area around seven thousand dollars down to six thousand dollars which now would serve as a support because previously it was a huge resistance area but we actually been through that very easily and now we're above that. Still we can expect this, this to be a nice support area. But again, as soon as we're above the best baseline, I think we will not see a massive correction at least to something like five or four thousand dollars. But when and if it will be broken, then I would expect that no further rally will happen anytime soon. At least before we will have a significant drop and bounce of the certain support areas. And also you of course follow the altcoins which are getting at least a little bit of power right now so we are seeing that bitcoin dominance dropped a little now it is actually returning but the total capitalization of altcoins had a huge boost yesterday and this is just the fact that altcoins don't perform as good as bitcoin at least the majority of them but on average they are still catching up and this is not a bad sign the only one thing which bothers me is that if you look at the area of trading the alts you would see that somewhere at the lowest point of their price you didn't have a, that much of an outstanding 
volume. The only exception which I noticed is Cardano, which had a significant rise and now it draws two green days after the reversal dodgy here. But this is probably one of the few exceptions out there. Most of the huge altcoins and small altcoins as well, they don't have that yet and they still continue to decline. Well, maybe actually Ethereum has a little bit of the chance to reverse, but this is pro probably it, especially looking at this dodgy over here. So as soon as we don't have much of the volume on the altcoins and as soon as we don't have a very strong inflection point on the dominance, actually dominance is continuing to go higher and higher, I don't think that we can say that altcoin season is started and we'll see the rise of their price, at least with respect to Bitcoin. The only one nice chance to that is that instead of going down, Bitcoin will go sideways and on this sideways price action, well, with maybe a little bit of decline, the capital actually will go not out of the market, but will actually transfer to the altcoins. And then potentially we may go in terms of the Bitcoin dominance to the level of 50%, which considering the capitalization of Bitcoin at the moment of being like 120 plus billion dollars, you may expect this to be a very, very huge boost for altcoins capitalization and they will rise quite a lot, at least like 20, 30, maybe even 50%. So am I considering buying altcoins right now? Some of them. I'm ready to take the risk. Some of the altcoins which I bought before were sold by the stop orders, but still some are doing not bad at all. And this is actually a bit of a bigger question. What shall we do right now at the market to get some profit? Of course, you can just buy Bitcoin at whatever price it is here and wait it for going to a new high. But what can you get from that growth? You can get like two, three, I don't know, 10x, depending on the exit price you consider. But how would you get your 100x or more? Buying altcoins? Well, those which are huge are not that profitable anymore. I mean, they can go highlands in terms of the ROI, but it is not that possible that it will make like 100x at least high cap coins. So what I'm really considering to do now is that I'm going to look through the altcoins, like not the biggest ones, but really, really at the bottom of the list, maybe below $1 million capitalization, which still alive, which still didn't exit during this whole period of bear market, and they still have nice fundamentals. And maybe just implement this venture funding strategy when I would like pick 10 or 20 of them and buy a very small portion of their coins. If one or two will really make nice gains, then I will be in a good position. Yeah, some people will say that we may actually go along on Bitcoin with leverage, but you see those corrections with few hundred dollars don't really allow you to buy Bitcoin with a huge leverage and like just 2, 3x, well, it's possible, but it's also a bit risky considering the fact that at any time soon we may see like a few thousand dollars correction down. Not to mention the fact that shorting Bitcoin is at this area is even more crazy idea. Speaking about the shorts, by the way, they all are still really high. Of course, we're looking at Bitfinex, for example, it's not that best place to look at, but still we are having like 26,000 shorts, while maybe like 20,000 is the point where you would think that liquidating shorts is not that really of an attractive target. So still, so far, we have a room to grow. In any case, let's look what will happen. Right now, at least, we make a very nice new high, even comparing to this point. So congratulations, guys. Welcome to the very new bull market and see you somewhere around the moon. That is it for today. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.